Welcome to the future of gardening, where lush greenery thrives without a single grain of soil. Imagine vibrant, colorful plants glowing under LED lights, their roots submerged in nutrient-rich water. This isn't science fiction, it's hydroponics, a revolutionary method that's transforming our approach to agriculture. It's efficient, it's sustainable, and it's surprisingly simple. It's gardening, reimagined. No soil, no seasons, just year-round growing potential. Dive into the world of hydroponics with us and discover how you can grow your garden year-round indoors. So, what exactly is hydroponics? Hydroponics, at its core, is a method of growing plants without soil. Instead of relying on the earth to provide nutrients, hydroponic gardeners feed their plants directly with nutrient-rich water. Picture it as a direct nutrient delivery service for the plants. This method breaks free from the traditional concept of gardening, introducing a novel approach that is both futuristic and practical. Imagine plants suspended in water, their roots bathing in a cocktail of essential nutrients, while above the surface, they flourish into vibrant, healthy specimens. By skipping the soil, hydroponics allows for a more controlled environment where the gardener can dictate exactly what nutrients the plants receive and when. It's like having a chef's table experience, but for plants. Hydroponics is not just about growing plants in water, it's about maximizing their potential and revolutionizing the way we think about gardening. It's an innovative approach to gardening that offers numerous benefits. Let's delve into them. Hydroponics is not just a cool concept, it's a game changer in the gardening world. Let's delve into the myriad benefits this soil-free approach brings to the table. Firstly, hydroponics is a water-wise method of gardening, using up to 90% less water than traditional soil-based gardening. That's because the water in a hydroponic system is recirculated, reducing waste and making it a more sustainable choice in today's eco-conscious world. Speed is another advantage. Plants grown hydroponically can mature up to 50% faster than those grown in soil. This is because the nutrients are delivered directly to the plant's roots, reducing the energy they need to find and break down food, allowing them to focus more on growing. This direct nutrient delivery also leads to higher yields. In fact, hydroponic gardens can produce up to 30% more than their soil-based counterparts. It's all about efficiency and getting the most out of every square foot. Hydroponics also reduces the risk of pests and diseases, as there's no soil for these nuisances to thrive in. This means less time spent fighting off bugs and more time enjoying your lush, healthy plants. Finally, the ability to grow plants in small spaces or indoors is a major plus for city dwellers or those with limited outdoor space. You can have a garden in your apartment, on your balcony, or even in your office. Now that we've seen the benefits, let's explore the different types of hydroponic systems. There are six main types of hydroponic systems. Let's dive right in. First, we have the wick system. This is the simplest form of hydroponics. It uses a wick to draw nutrient-rich water up to the plant roots. No moving parts, no fuss. Next is the deep water culture system. Here, plants float on top of the water with their roots submerged in the nutrient solution. An air stone or diffuser pumps oxygen into the water, preventing the roots from drowning. The nutrient film technique, or NFT, is a bit more complex. In this system, a thin film of nutrient solution flows over the roots of plants held in a sloping trough. The solution is constantly circulated, keeping the roots moist and well-fed. Then, we have the ebb and flow system. This system floods the plant roots with nutrient solution at regular intervals, then drains it away, allowing the roots to take in oxygen. The drip system is another popular choice. In this system, a pump delivers nutrient solution directly to each plant through a network of tubes, providing precise control over water and nutrient delivery. Finally, we have aeroponics. In this high-tech system, plants are suspended in air and misted with nutrient solution. This allows for maximum oxygen intake and rapid growth. With a basic understanding of the types of systems, next, we'll guide you on setting up your first hydroponic system. Setting up your first hydroponic system is easier than you think. Let's dive into the basics and get you started on your soil-free gardening journey. First and foremost, we'll focus on a beginner-friendly setup, such as a small deep water culture or wick system. 
These types of systems are perfect for your first foray into hydroponics, as they offer simplicity and affordability. To begin, you'll need a container. This could be a plastic tub, a glass aquarium, or even a large food storage container. The key is to ensure your container is clean, sturdy, and light-proof to prevent algae growth. Next, you'll need a growing medium. This isn't soil, but a substance that supports the plants and holds the nutrients. You could use clay pebbles, perlite, or coconut coir. Each has its own benefits, so choose based on your specific needs and plant type. Now let's talk about grow lights. These are crucial for indoor hydroponic systems. They mimic the sun and provide your plants with the energy they need to grow. There's a wide range of grow lights available, from fluorescent to high-intensity discharge lights and LEDs. Your choice will depend on your budget, the size of your system, and the type of plants you're growing. Here comes the most critical part, the nutrient solution. This is the lifeblood of your hydroponic system. It provides all the essential nutrients your plants need. You can buy pre-mixed solutions or make your own. Remember, it's crucial to get the right balance of nutrients for your plants to thrive. Lastly, you'll need an air pump and air stone for a deep water culture system or wicks for a wick system. These deliver oxygen to the roots, a vital component for plant growth. And there you have it. Your very first hydroponic system is up and ready. It's a straightforward process that can yield tremendous results when done right. With the setup ready, the next step is choosing your plants. Choosing the right plants for your hydroponic garden is crucial. Not all plants are created equal when it comes to hydroponics. Some grow better in water-based environments than others. And for beginners, it's wise to start with those. Lettuce, for example, is a fantastic choice. It's a fast grower and doesn't require much maintenance perfect for those just getting their feet wet. And who doesn't love a fresh salad straight from their garden? Herbs such as basil, mint, and oregano also thrive in hydroponic systems. They grow quickly and can be harvested repeatedly, providing a constant supply of fresh herbs for your kitchen. And let's not forget strawberries. These juicy fruits are a delightful addition to any hydroponic garden. With the right care, they can yield a bountiful harvest making your hydroponic journey all the more rewarding. Now that you've chosen your plants, let's discuss how to maintain your hydroponic garden. Maintenance is the key to a successful hydroponic garden. Just like a well-oiled machine, your hydroponic system needs regular checkups to ensure it's running smoothly. Firstly, monitoring water levels is crucial. As plants absorb water from the system, the water level will naturally decrease. Keep an eye on this and refill as necessary to ensure your plants always have access to the water and nutrients they need. Next, let's talk pH balance. The pH level of your water can significantly impact your plant's ability to absorb nutrients. Most plants thrive in a slightly acidic environment with a pH range between 5.5 and 6.5. Testing and adjusting your water's pH level regularly will keep your plants happy and healthy. Lastly, nutrient replenishment. Your plants are constantly consuming the nutrients in the water, so it's essential to replenish these regularly. The frequency of replenishment will depend on your plant's growth stage and specific nutrient requirements. As a rule of thumb, a complete change of nutrient solution every two to three weeks is a good practice. Remember, each of these maintenance steps is a vital part of the hydroponic gardening process. Ignoring even one of these could result in less than ideal growth, or worse, plant death. So stay vigilant and keep your hydroponic garden thriving. Let's address some common problems you might face and how to troubleshoot them. Like any gardening method, hydroponics also has its challenges. But don't worry, we've got you covered with some quick solutions to the most common problems. One issue you might encounter is nutrient deficiencies. If your plants look a little off color or their growth seems stunted, they might not be getting enough nutrients. The solution? Regularly check and adjust your nutrient solution according to the needs of your plants. Root rot is another common problem. It's usually caused by overwatering or poor oxygenation. To avoid this, ensure your system is well aerated and avoid overfilling it with water. Finally, there's algae growth. Algae love the same conditions as your hydroponic plants, and they can quickly take over if left unchecked. 
The best way to prevent this is by keeping your system clean and reducing light exposure to your nutrient solution. Now, let's take a look at some successful hydroponic projects for inspiration. Hydroponics has been adopted successfully in various settings, from homes to commercial farms. Picture this, a compact home setup, nestled in a corner of a city apartment, bursting with fresh herbs and leafy greens, ready for the picking. Or perhaps a sprawling commercial farm, teeming with rows upon rows of vibrant strawberries, tomatoes, and bell peppers, all flourishing without a trace of soil. Hydroponics has even reached the classrooms, sparking curiosity and fostering a love for science and nature in young minds. Imagine school children growing their lunch in a soil-free garden right in their classroom. And let's not forget the pioneers of hydroponics in space. Yes, you heard it right, space. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station are growing their salads in zero gravity thousands of miles above the Earth. The possibilities with hydroponics are endless and the success stories are aplenty. With the right knowledge and tools, you too can start your hydroponic journey. The future of gardening is here.